Elevator. She slipped on anything? Um, no, I uh, I heard her call out. I, when I came in, she was lying at the foot of the stairs, and she she said she'd fallen. Yeah, that's what she said to me. Look, you don't uh, you don't think she's gonna lose the baby, do you? I don't have an answer to that, Cruz. I wish I did. Oh, God, just keep her relaxed, okay? Zach will be here soon. I'll be back in a little while and I'll check her. So she should just try to... Just try to relax. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Sure. Hey, no, don't get the baby down. Just take it easy. What about the baby? Uh, Scott said the most important thing right now is for you to try to relax. Yeah, but I need to know if the baby's going to be all right. The doctors won't say anything to me. Uh-huh. Well, that's because they don't know anything yet. Well, what about... No, what? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll pass. Oh, uh, it hurts. Oh, I know it does, baby. I know it does. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I wish I could take it away. You just have to remember to try and relax right now. It's the best thing for yourself, and it's the best thing for the baby. I'm trying, but... I really, I really feel like something wrong's happening. No, no, don't, don't think that. Don't think that. I don't even think at all right now. Just, <sighs> just let it go. I can't. I can't lose this baby. <laughs> Right through the window. I'll be right out there. Maybe so. I really kind of changed my mind. Let's get the hell out of here, okay? No. I don't want you being bait for some bloody maniac. Well, I don't like the idea of it either. But when you think what he's done to everyone we love, I'm not going to sit around and not try to catch him. We don't even know if he's sitting in here right now. After all that's happened, we don't even know what the hell he looks like. I know, and that's what we're going to try to change. Now, we shouldn't even be seen talking together. I'm going to go outside. All right. Look over the window. I'll watch every second. You see anything unusual, you call me, all right? I'll come right out. Well, I feel very safe that you're here. Be careful. I'm so, I, I'm just, I'm jumpy. Oh, aren't we all with what's been going on in this town? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, so what are you doing standing out here? Oh, is this your spot? No, no, that's not what I meant. Hey, with me, it's uh, share and share alike, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, sure, right. Yeah, I mean, it's just with this nut running around raping and even murdering girls, I think this is the last place you should be standing. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm fine. I'm all right. Look, I know times are hard, sweetheart, but there's other ways to get business going. I'm not really interested. Hey, I, I ain't fronting for no hard-time pimp or anything. I beg your pardon? Oh, I love the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> you got this real society air about you. Oh, yeah. Well, I, uh, you sure uh, it don't sound too uh, fun? No, no, not at all. Hey, my name's Crystal. Oh, just like on Dynasty. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Sophia. Yeah? Well, can I give you a little advice, Sophie? 
Actually, that's so. Because yeah. you seem like you're a really nice girl, and I would hate to see you get hurt, you know? I mean, that's why me and a couple of the other girls are working through this uh, escort service now. Escort service? Yeah. Yeah, it's called uh, Devonshire Gold Limited. Real classy name, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah, they're honest people, you know, and they get really clean, safe clientele, and they don't charge you an arm and a leg, so to speak. Yeah. And I know they'd have a lot of work for a classy broad like you. Oh, well, I, uh, I, I, no, I'm really fine. I mean, I'm hey, not look, interested in this look, right now. Look, I ain't getting a percentage out of this, sweetheart, but I'll be happy to make a phone call for you and set you up. Come on, we'll go into Pop's place, have a beer, I'll make a phone call. Boom, in about an hour we'll be working. What do you say? Um... I have to stay here for just a little while. Maybe I'll meet you later or something. All right. Well, suit yourself, sweetheart. But if you change your mind, I'll be in there for a while. Okay? Okay. Crystal. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too, Sophie. Do me a favor, huh? You be really careful out here. I will. if you let me take a look at those medical records. I told you, I looked at them. They'll put old CC right behind the eight ball. Yes, but you're not a doctor or a lawyer, and I don't think it would hurt if I looked at them. You're not a doctor or a lawyer either, girl. Yes, well, I've been closely associated with both professions, and I, I think that I could look at them, and I would be able to tell if CC could be held responsible Gina, for negligence. Gina, 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 why don't you just drop the game and admit that you're just trying to get me to show you where those files are. Well, it's just crazy that you're the only one that has access to them. Yeah, I think it's right smart of me. Well, I don't. If something could happen to you. You could get hit by a truck, or, or or Mason could take over completely. Mason ain't gonna take over, and those files are gonna stay right where they are. Well, all right. I mean, that's not the important thing. The important thing is that, that you and Cece stay nice and close. Yeah, well, I intend to do just that. <clears throat> yeah, and, and that he doesn't find out you had anything to do with Julia breaking off the wedding plans. Yeah, and hope that she doesn't start yammering about seeing the two of us over here together the night before. Don't worry, she won't. As I said before, her wounded ego would never let her believe that there was another woman involved. Uh, especially since the other woman's me. I heard that, you little devil. Oh, wait, well, we have, to get, uh, we have to get our priorities sorted out here now, Sonny. The first thing you have to do is make arrangements to see Samantha and think about getting custody. Custody? What the hell are you talking about? What time did she leave? And you have no idea where she went? I see. Well, if Miss Wainwright does come back, please have her call home immediately. Yes, this is an emergency. Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. Yeah, don't you worry. Your mom is going to be just fine. Well, you must be hungry. What do you say we go and look in the kitchen? Huh? Hello? Wait, wait! 
Isn't there something they can do? Darling, I'm sure they'll let us know if there's anything they think they need to do. Do they tell you that the baby's going to be okay? Don't worry about what they, what they, what they think right now, baby. Let's just, let's just relax, okay? What? Please tell me. Well, no, Scott, Scott just said he, he, he can't be sure. Even that's only because he doesn't know you. I know you're not going to lose this baby. Not after everything you've gone through to get this far, darling. <laughs> no, no, baby, please. Listen to me. Trust me on this. The fall. I could have hurt the baby when I fell. No, 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 no. Don't, don't think about that now. Don't think about that now. But, no, but... no, 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 no. Please. Trust me. I do. I do. Okay. You need to calm down. Okay? Okay. Now, why don't you just close your eyes? Close your eyes and let go of your fear, okay? Just try to think about something. Think about the future. We're going to get past this. Think of all the wonderful times we're going to have together. That's it. Just let it go. I know it's not easy, but let yourself imagine the wonderful times. Because we do have wonderful times ahead of us. been through so much. Please don't take this baby. Please. Punch out and head home, huh? Hey, sweetheart. You done for the night? Yeah, and if I read the duty roster correctly, so are you. Well, actually, I have a few more things I have to take care of come first. Come on, so... come on. They can wait. I think we could grab a pizza on the way home, an old movie, start a fire in the fireplace, bottle of wine. Can see this getting me absolutely nowhere. No, I mean, look, it, it sounds great. Why don't you go on home? I'll meet you there, okay? Scott, come I'll on. Be there in a little while. Come on, you're much too serious for a doctor who's supposed to be off duty. What's going on? Dr. Janelle's gonna be here tonight. The, uh, Capwell Company doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, he can wait, can't he? No, no, he can't. He's been avoiding me for much too long now, Heather. He's probably a very busy doctor, Scott. I'm sure he has a very legitimate oh, reason fine. for not meeting. Have it your way. He's been legitimately avoiding me. But he's not gonna get out of talking to me tonight. I'm gonna get whatever evidence he has on the types of cancer in those workers on the oil rigs. Okay, I don't think that's a great idea, but I know... Heather, I need to Will you to let me it. finish, please? I don't think it's a great idea, but I know it's something that you have to do. It only bothers me because I know how hard it is on you, Scott. Sweetheart, I don't mean to be obsessive about this. But I know that I am. Yeah, you're an obsessive person. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. And I guess I have got it in my head that my father's death is going to mean something. It's going to change something. I hope you're right, Scott. But there's a chance that you might not be, and you have to be willing to accept it if that's the case. I gotta go see if Dr. Janelle is here. Having a uh, conversation. I saw the animated conversation. Well, she is a very nice girl, and she's out there risking her life being a prostitute. You know what? Sometimes I think I'm really sheltered, and I have no idea what's going on. I doubt that very much. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Shall we go home? No. I'm going to go right back out there in a minute. There's nothing exciting going on right now. No action. What time? 
Yeah, I can do that. Well, what kind of date is it? You're kidding me, right? Oh, come on, that sounds a little strange, Bernie. Okay, how much? Okay, where am I going? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know where that is. Uh-huh, I'll be there. You got it. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you got the wrong number. There's no way C.C. Capel is gonna hang out in a joint like this. Come on. Believe me, yeah. calls for me. No, they're asking for C.C. Capel. I know, I know, I'm C.C. Capel, excuse me. Hello. Sophia. Hold on to that one, sweetheart. You hit the jackpot. Right. Wait a minute, what, uh, what kind of emergency is it? Oh, God. All right, we'll be right there. All I want you to do is file papers that would guarantee you the right to see Samantha on a regular basis. Would you stop trying to run my life? It's no wonder Keith hightailed it out of here. Keith did not run out on me, and I refuse to have any conversation with you that involves him. Ooh, touchy, touchy. It's just that Cece is very big on family. It's important to him, and if you turn your back on that little girl, he's gonna be furious. Mm. So now he's running my life, huh? No, he's not running your life. I just want you to do what he wants until you can soak him for all that money, even if it includes playing wounded party and loving daddy. Well, I'll do it. But I don't have to like it. What have you done with my little girl? She's a very pretty little girl. Oh. Please, don't hurt her. Oh, God, please. Do whatever you want to me. Please don't hurt her. She's just an innocent little girl. Please. Why are you doing this to me? Dr. Janelle. Yes? Yeah? I'm Dr. Scott Clark. Oh, Dr. Clark. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. You know, I really want to apologize for not getting in touch. Yeah, well, I knew that you were going to be here tonight, and I figured since you hadn't answered any of my calls that I should find you. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can understand how busy you get around here. You know, I was very disturbed by the questions you raised. So you had a chance to read my letter. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, one of the uh, major concerns of my practice is, has been identifying previously uh, unrecognized carcinogens in the workplace. And what about those that have been identified and then overlooked? Well, I realize that's happened from time to time, but I can't imagine it happening at Capwell Enterprise. What about those men that have already died of cancer? We've had several of them. But given the age groups and backgrounds, the incidents uh, never appeared to me as being unusually high. You knew my father had cancer. I treated Ben. His symptoms were vague at first. Your father was a very proud man. The last place he ever wanted to be was a doctor's office. All he wanted to do was to keep working. He didn't want to deal with the fact that something might be wrong. But he was a hell of a nice guy, Scott. And very proud of you. He was always talking about his son, the doctor. Yeah, yeah, look. I hope you can understand why I need to do this, doctor. I need to know if there's any connection between my father's workplace and the cancer that he got. Now, that's why I need to get those files on him and any other patients that you worked with at that, on the oil rig. Frankly, that's one of the reasons I didn't call you. I can only go so far without those files. As soon as I got your letter, I wanted to look at those files myself. But I haven't been able to find them. What? Now, I know it's only a matter of time before they'll show up somewhere. You're telling me all of them are missing? I'm afraid so. Doesn't that seem awfully convenient? Yes. 
Look, I understand how this might appear, to Dr. Clark, but you've got to believe me. I'll do everything in my power to cooperate with your inquiry. I think I know now how much cooperation I can expect, Doctor. Now, why am I not surprised to find you here? What do you want? Well, first I'd like to come in, and then I'd like to talk to Julia. She's not here. You'll have to come back to me. Well, in that case, I'll just see my daughter. I assume she's here. She is sleeping. Oh, is that right? Tell me, when you took your vows, Father, did they tell you that babysitting was going to be part of your duties? This isn't a good time, Mason. Well, then I won't bother you. I'll just check on Samantha and be on my way. I don't think that's a good idea. I get the idea you don't think my being here is a good idea. You're right. Samantha is my daughter. I have every right to see her. Julia left no instructions for you to visit her or anybody else. She's in my care right now, and you can take it up with Julia tomorrow. You don't have a lot of reverence for my rights as a parent, do you? It doesn't you? matter what I think. Oh, on the contrary, Father, I think it matters a great deal what you think and what you say to Julia, at any rate. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of our trouble stemmed from what you'd been telling her. You've got one problem, Capwell, yourself. You've been acting like a mean-spirited, selfish boor. And Julia finally ran out of tolerance. As far as I'm concerned, you have no right to go near Samantha after the way you've treated her mother. Uh, Got it. We. Oui. Looks like you finally came out of the confessional and showed your true colors where Julia's concerned. Just get out. Now. Yeah. I think I'll be going. Has to be settled with Julia anyway. You know, Father, you've been awfully critical of my behavior lately. I just wonder how much longer you'll be comfortable judging other people before you take a long, hard look at yourself. I got here as quickly as I could. Scott said Eden fell. Yeah, she she fell down the stairs. Well, did she slip, or was there something on the stairs? Um, I, d I don't know. Scott asked me that, too. What difference does that make? Well, it could make a great deal of difference if the reason she lost her balance was due to a, a chemical imbalance. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. She, um, earlier she said something about him. What, the man who raped her? Well, she didn't say that exactly, but that's he what she... He was there? No, nobody was there. I'll talk to yeah, wait, wait a second. Are you sure you, you need to do that? You know, she's vulnerable. Cruz, I'm sorry, but this could be very important. Okay. Sweetheart, Zach, Zach wants to talk to you. What? He, Zach, he, he needs to examine you. Hi. Hi. Is everything going to be okay? Well, that's what we want to find out. I, um, uh, I want you to tell me when you feel pain. Do you feel pain here? No. How about here? Yes. All right, now, can you tell me if it's more or less intense than it was? Less, I think. All right. I'll let you sleep for a while, and then I'll do a thorough examination. Um, I'm gonna have equipment brought in. We'll do a sonogram here. Unfortunately, we're not going to know anything definite until tomorrow. Tomorrow? I know it's going to be difficult to wait, but we have no other choice. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. I think it might be important. I want you to tell me about your fall. I fell. Uh, did you slip on the stairs? No. Well, yes. Well, which is it? I slipped. Did you feel dizzy? I don't remember. Eden, I wouldn't be asking you these questions if they weren't important. Zach, I just want to know if the baby's going to be okay. And I want to be able to tell you. But first, I have to know whether you felt any pain or dizziness before you fell. No. Did you Did you have a headache? No. Um, dizziness? No. Blurred vision? No, he made me fall. wasn't there, but I looked up and I saw his feet on the stairs. <sighs> He's taken away so much. Don't let him take away our baby.
sweetheart. I thought you had some geography homework you had to do. I did most of it. Well, do you, you want me to help you? Not really. You've never been much help with geography. Yeah, well, geography was never my strong suit, I'll admit. <laughs> but I do have a question for you. Shoot. Am I going to have to call Mason Dad? What? No. Why would you ask a question like that? Well, for the last three days while I'm getting ready for school, I've seen Mason sneaking out of your bedroom. You sure you don't want to talk about the state capitals? I knew you wouldn't want to talk about it. No, sweetheart, look. You're right, we, we can talk about it. I should have discussed it with you before, rather than making you come to me. Are you going to marry him? God, no, I would never marry so... I mean, Mason. Well, if you're not going to marry him, why is he... Well, sometimes when a person has a very painful experience, they turn to someone else that they wouldn't ordinarily simply for comfort. You mean because Dad left? Yes. Maybe I'm just weak or... Or it's just so painful that I'm trying to find somebody else just to help me forget. Did Dad leave because of Mason? No. No, you know what Keith's reasons were. It had nothing to do with Mason. I'm sorry you're not happy, Mom. But I sure am glad I don't have to call Mason Dad. He used to like Mason. A lot. Yeah, I know. But he's too weird now. Yeah, well, he certainly has changed. And I don't want to call anybody dad unless he's really special. And someone who likes to do things with me the way Keith did. And someone who can make you happy. Well, there certainly aren't a lot of men like that out there. You'll find them, Mom. I hope so. Because I promise you, I'm not going to settle for anything less. All right, Michael, I'll, uh, I'll try to find Scott and we'll, we'll be right over, okay? Bye. Be right over where? Oh, uh, Michael needs to stop by Julia's. I've been looking all over for you. Who's up on the roof? <laughs> Is that where you found Dr. Janelle? No, I found Dr. Janelle right here. So, is he going to give you the files you need? No. Good old, concerned, compassionate Dr. Janelle misplaced those files. What? Yeah. I was, surpri I was surprised, too. A conscientious doctor like that misplaces all the files I happen to need? So, uh, what are you going to do? I'm not going to let Capo win this easily. I'm going to get family records. I'm going to talk to those doctors who worked with these patients. I'm going to get any records and statements that they can supply me. I'm not about to give up. Okay. Well, you don't seem too happy about that. Doesn't matter whether I'm happy about it or not, Scott. All I'm wondering is that, okay, let's say that you do get all the evidence that you need and you get a big-time lawyer and you win this lawsuit from the Capitol. What are you going to do? I'll use the money to try and ease the burden on the families who've lost members because of this negligence. Now, I know that's not going to bring them back, but it, at, at least it could supply a little comfort. Yeah, but, Scott, you're talking about a lawsuit that could take years. I realize that. But I'm not gonna, that's not going to change what I have to do. Scott, what about your work? I'm not going to stop working as a doctor. I thought you wanted to do lab work. I thought you wanted to do all this I research. also wanted to help people, Heather. That's why I went into medicine in the first place. I feel like I lost track of that somewhere. So it's time I got back into it. As far as I'm concerned, everything goes on hold until I've settled this. Everything? What are the chances of saving the baby? Well, we don't really know, Mr. C. Zach just said we'd have to wait. Wait for what? Why are they in here doing something now? I'm sure they're doing everything they can. The hell is it going to stop for her? Hi, there, Angel. Hi, sweetheart. We're both here. How are you feeling? You feeling a little better? It still hurts. Oh. It'll stop, honey. Just that one of those. We'll get you out of here. It's gonna be fine. Just yeah. fine. It will be. 
Yeah, look, I'm, I'm gonna step outside for a second and uh, let you talk to your parents, okay? I'm really glad you're here. We're gonna stay here with you. Well, Zach said there wasn't gonna be any news until the morning. Okay, it's okay. What you have to concentrate on right now is getting some rest and remembering that so many people love you. So many people are praying for you. And all that love, all those prayers are gonna make sure that you and your baby are okay. So what, there's, there's, there's nothing you can do to help the baby? Cruz, I already told you. I know what you told me, Zach, but she's lying in there. If she loses this baby after what she's been through, you know, she could have a complete breakdown. Cruz, I realize how difficult that would be for Eden, but all we can do is wait. <sighs> Excuse me. I'd still like to know what the good father was doing over at Julia's. He's been thick as thieves for a long time now. Yeah. Well, hey there, Brandon. How's everything going? Fine. Mom, I was... Hey, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking you and me ought to head on down to a rodeo sometime soon. A rodeo? Yeah, there's gonna be one down in Oxnard. What do you say we put on our cowboy hats and boots and head on down there? Mm, no, thanks. I read how they get those Broncos a buck. I'm not into cruelty to animals. Mom, I'm going over to Peter's. Okay, just don't say too late. I won't. Well, sure took the wind out of my sail. Cruelty to animals. Why do you suppose he liked Mason so much and not me? Well. Mason did all kinds of things with him. They, they played games together, they played chess, they, they had a lot of fun. <laughs> Not exactly up my alley. Well, I don't think it was so much what they did together as they just enjoyed spending time with each other. Well, I asked him to spend time with me. You saw what happened. Yeah, well, he just thought you were being nice in order to please him. Well, you know, kids don't know the difference. You don't know very much about kids. I've learned from experience. Brandon can be a lot more perceptive than most adults. You know, he always knows when a person's good or bad, even when I'm totally fooled. Really think the little sucker's that smart? Oh, he's smart, but doesn't have anything to do with intelligence. Brandon's just very sensitive. Yeah, well, he must take after his old lady then. She's kind of sensitive too. I know exactly where. Sonny, will you stop it? And why do you have to ruin a perfectly good, serious conversation? I'm not trying to ruin anything. I can't help it if you're the most exciting woman I ever met. That's your fault, not mine. Well, come on, cowboy. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> I really appreciate this. It's, it's no problem, Michael. Um, so do you want me to call Julia later, or...? No, I'll call you. I promised her that I was gonna look after Samantha, and then this other thing came up, I just remembered. Okay, um... Are you sure that Scott and I... Yeah, are yeah, look, I know it's in a position for the two of you, I, but I can't call the Capwells to look after their, their reasons. And the two of you are the only people that can do what I need done right now. And I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody that you have her. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, if that's what you want. Yes, and it's important. I really can't say anymore except that I need you to take her home right now and watch her very carefully. Michael, are you in some, some kind of trouble? <laughs> Heather, I'll call you. And don't let her out of your sight. Michael, be careful. All right. Well, it looks like it's pretty little ladies ready to go. Okay, you want to grab the bag? Sure. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Bye, Michael. Take it easy. she's going to take it if she loses this baby. I know. We just have to have faith that she's not going to, Mr. C. Hope to God you're right. I'm going to get some coffee. You want anything? No, I... No, thank you. I'm fine. Excuse me. Mr. Castillo, these are for your wife. That's nice. Um, when were they delivered? 
Mm, just a few minutes ago on the first floor. Did you see who brought him in? Yes, a uh, high school boy who works for the florist. He brings things in all the time. Oh, how thoughtful. Uh, let me take these. I'll, I'll give them to her, if you don't sure. mind. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Samantha or secret. <laughs> what secret's that? She got rid of your anger. Well, I guess I'm just a sucker for kids. I've seen you in better moods, though. Yeah, I'm worried about Michael. Come on, he said everything was gonna be all right. If you can't trust a priest, who can you trust? <laughs> hey, why don't you come over here and join us? Come on. <clears throat> you know, it's amazing the sense of family that kids give you. Hey, Sam, watch. I guess I never really had a great memory of my family. <laughs> well, my family wasn't exactly leave it to Beaver either, you know. But I guess I finally came to an understanding with my father. It looks like we were going to have a chance at having a good time together. Do you think you want kids more now because your father died? I guess deep down I've always wanted kids. But when my father died, I guess I realized it more. Yeah, no, there's no one there giving that, that unconditional family support. At least not until you have a family of your own. Do you feel it, Samantha? Do you feel that psychoanalysis slowly creeping into the room? Come on, Scott. I'm only trying to understand. Yeah, I know. Why I'm so intent on getting the capos, right? All right. It's because they took my father away, Heather. They took away the only chance we had of being a family. And I believe they did that to other people, too. So I want to see them pay for it. You really after justice? You tell me, Doc. Well, I don't know. I kind of think that this pursuit of Capwell Enterprises is a way for you to fixate on the past and, and, and be a victim once again to the Capwells. Mm, now I'm fixating on the past. Next you'll be telling me that I'm using that so I don't make decisions about the future. You said it. I didn't. access to the private admission records on this floor. Okay. You, you think you got something going here? He sent her flowers. He knows she's in that room. 
Only the people on this floor know who's in that room. I used a phony admission when I checked into the hospital. You think that's a break? That's good, Miss Reed. No good. I don't want her to know, Mr. Sage. It's only going to upset her if she knows what happened. I, the doctor said she should rest. Yeah, you got a point. All right, I still think it's a big step in the right direction. I think she's resting a little better now. Thank you so much, Sophia. We'll uh, leave you alone with her for a while. Okay, thanks, Sophia. Oh, yeah, you take it easy. All right, you too. That's what we're praying for. Do you hold me? Tonight, how hip is Al? Willie and Al take a trip back to the 60s in a nightmare Willie would like to forget. Then, attention, step in line for David the Drill Sergeant. It's no party when David becomes a chaperone on the Hogan family. Followed by Shootdown, a world premiere movie starring Angela Lansbury tonight.